Hello everybody, this is Randy Hughes, Mr. Land Trust, getting back to you about another reason you should be using your land trust to hold title to your investment real estate. Uh, reason number 18 is the ability to fracture interests without being partners. Uh, this is very important uh, and not understood very well by most people, so let's, let's break this down. Unlike direct ownership by deed, where you, you put your name on the deed or maybe you are uh, uh, on the deed with somebody else, uh, owning the beneficial interest in a land trust, unlike that deed ownership, owning an interest in a land trust allows you for the ease of transferring a percentage, percentage of the interest of that trust to other, quote, owners. Uh, for example, if you owned a 100% interest in a land trust, via your beneficial interest, you could gift $14,000 of interest to each of your children each year with no tax consequence, because that's the current exemption is $14,000 uh, without a gift tax consequence. Furthermore, you could sell a fractional interest to anyone or another entity, for its matter of uh, fact, uh, you know, a corporation, uh, um, partnership, whatever. And, and by doing so, you would create co-owners easily and inexpensively. Now, if those co-owners own their interest via a personal property trust, they could avoid being classified as general partners and attending and the, and the attending uh, potential liability that would incur. Uh, we've talked about that in some other of my videos, how uh, co-beneficiaries to a land trust uh, under the, in the court's eyes um, many times is determined to be like um, general partners. And you don't want to be a general partner with anybody on the planet uh, because that means you take on liability for what they do, uh, not only liability for what you do. And it's hard enough to deal with liability for yourself, let alone taking other people's liability on. So don't be a general partner with anybody. Uh, and my recommendation is don't be a co-owner or co-beneficiary on a land trust. Always have another entity be that co-member, either be it another trust, personal property trust, for example, in this case, uh, or an entity. So that's reason number 18. It's easy to fracture the interest in a land trust without becoming a partner. See you next time.